Hello and welcome to All Things Leslie. Today my YouTube video is, the content is more about something I saw and I purchased and then I saw on YouTube some bad reviews. So for those people that were interested in this part, product and didn't purchase it because of the bad reviews, I'm here to let you know that those bad reviews were, I don't know, false statements or whatever. But as you see here, I have a Gemini set up and I purchased this dye that I had been eyeing for, oh, about maybe six, seven months, eight months, something like that. But I didn't have a Gemini and this would not fit in my hand, my manual hand machine. So I did not purchase the Gemini just specifically for this, but there were a lot of other dyes that I was interested in purchasing, so I did purchase the Gemini. So now this dye here, the puzzle dye, that's what the Jigsaw, Gemini's Jigsaw Puzzle Dye. It handles various types of paper. I did see a review where a young lady used cardstock. This is the dye. These are the um, cutouts here on the die. And this lady used cardstock and it came out perfectly well. Now another woman used mount board and she said it was awful. I saw two other women that said it was awful when they used the mount board. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not awful. I used the mount board, I went back and I watched some videos. I used the mount board like Sarah said to use it. She said to use your plate. She said to use this whiteboard and she said to use another plate. So that's what I did, exactly how she told me to do it. And I mounted my puzzle or I inserted it between the plates, just like that. Nothing special, nothing else. And that was it. So I did the puzzle. I did have to run it through twice but I think it came out perfectly. My assistant here for today, Timoko Nine, <laughs> is gonna show you the results. He was, he, he was pleased with it when I showed it to him. You know, I presented it in a box. This is the puzzle. When I presented it to him, I took one piece out so he would know it was a puzzle. But I did put a little spin on it, which didn't change the puzzle anything. Now I did make, I myself did make an error when I did this puzzle because I glued paper to the mount board. Here, this is the mount board under here. And I glued paper to the mount board because my photo paper, it was either eight by 10 or four by six. So I wanted to use the four by six, but I didn't want all this white showing on the mount board. So I glued, but I took a, I knew the glue had to cover every single piece of the paper, the mount board. So I spray glued it, so some Elmer spray glue, and I used too much glue. So kind of, so when I put it in the, um, between the plates, it, and when it compresses it, the, the glue was oozing out. So either I should have let the glue dry for maybe 24 hours before I did anything, or I should have just used less glue. I don't have it as a Xyron um, that big, and I didn't want to make that in, another investment just to get this picture on the board. So Tamar's going to show you the picture. <laughs> this picture on here is a four by six, and it's on a um, five by seven mount board. Now you can use a five by seven picture and cover the whole mount board. But like I said, I didn't have the five by seven. I was a little anxious and I liked the way it came out. I liked the um, fact that it had a border around it. Cause you know, when you do, uh, when you actually do a puzzle, it does have something on that puzzle to kind of lead you to say, oh, this is the edge. Oh, and I'm gonna put all the edges together first. So um, that's the idea I had. And also, when I did the puzzle, let me see, I'm gonna to try to turn it around without dropping all the pieces off of it. Cause they did cut out. Oh, surprise. Okay, the same picture that I, paper that I used in the background on the front is the same paper that I used on the back. 
Now, um, when Sarah shows it, Sarah doesn't show it with paper on the back. But I did want my picture to have a um, back to it. So when I pop the puzzle out or whomever uses the puzzle, pops the puzzle out, they have a frame to put it back in. I mean, some, some people might want to just sit it on the co coffee table. Somebody might want to present it in a little baggie. Somebody wanna present, might want to present it in one of um, Sarah Davies' little uh, candy boxes. This would be a cute little substitute. Um, rather than having candy, you could put the puzzle in there because the puzzle's not that big. Um, so I did want it to have um, some sort of a backing that you put the puzzle back into. I'm very happy with this die. Um, I will be, I'm actually selling not this picture, because <laughs> this picture is of Tamar. But I just want everybody to, to see, you know, how this puzzle actually works, how these, pe these pieces, they, look how simple this is. You pop it back in, you see, you, you do need that board or, or background or something. Uh, or you can make it a permanent picture and um, put it in a picture frame. Remember again, this is a five by seven. I think it's, I love it. I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I presented it to Tamar in a box and for him to do an unboxing so he had no idea what he was going to see but I kept badgering him for a picture and he did give me a picture twice. <laughs> this is what we came up with. I'm very happy with this product. Thank you, Sarah. I really like this. I'm enjoying it and I'm hoping that others will be excited when they see this also. Thank you. Bye.